bird is right here in the box. Just got picked up. My dad found them actually. They go high, high, high into the sky until you can't see anymore. And then they just freaking drop. And they just flip and flip and flip. Right now he's actually going straight for the safflower. This is probably some of the best food he has had or has gotten. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here at Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today you guys, we have a rescued animal. I personally don't like doing rescue videos, but today we have a rescue and it's a true rescue. And today we have a white pigeon with us. This pigeon was found on the beach and these kind of birds do often get lost. The reason why they get lost is because a lot of these birds are birds made, or the bird is right here in the box just got picked up my dad found them actually and he was like yo this bird is messed up it got a hurt wing uh do you want it and i was like well we can't just let him sit there because i do actually have a heart for pigeons I to keep a lot of pigeons here on the ranch but unfortunately i lost them in the fire around three years ago and i haven't got any since then i wanted to re-establish all my tortoises first and i did do that and we got a brand new building but we have this pigeon right here and this might be the sign of you might need pigeons again. What do you guys think? Put it down in the comments. Should I get some pigeons? The pigeons that I used to keep were old German owl pigeons and tumblers as well. They were amazing birds. They flew in the air, did all types of cool little things. And yeah. So now what we're gonna do is we have this pigeon outside of this box and we are gonna go set them up. This pigeon was probably somebody's pet. It got lost. A lot of these pigeons are used for like weddings and celebrations and for different luck situations, all different types of weird things in uh, Florida. Uh, it's probably somebody's pet. It doesn't have any bands or anything on it, so it's lost. I can't return it back to its owner, so I'm gonna keep this bird. Um, this bird is gonna go inside one of our, our areas so that it could get better. It looks like it has a broken wing. We're gonna see if we're able to fix it. If it can't have a fixed wing, then it'll just stay here on the ranch and it'll live its life here. But um, other than that, I'm gonna show you this bird real quick. It's inside of here, check it out. You guys can see that. It's right there white little pigeon the person threw a little bit of bread in there and stuff like that he's uh he's a cute little guy um i actually have a friend that keeps a bunch of these guys so i'm gonna figure out if it's a male or a female whatever it is and i'll probably get it a companion just like i do with everything here on the ranch everybody has a buddy boyfriend girlfriend something of that sort so let's head this guy to the enclosure where i'm gonna stick him at for right now He's going to go there, we'll set him all up, get him some food, water, all those things. Keep an eye on him and see how he's doing. See if he starts getting better, if we got to give him any shots, any of those kind of things. But as of right now, let's go bring him to his enclosure, get him out of this damn box, and uh, set him up. So where we're going to stick this little guy for right now is going to be inside of this kennel right here. We have another kennel here. There's a bunch of missing manananian stuff. Food, water bowls, all those kind of things. Fluffy's over there inside of his enclosure. Fluff is doing actually really well, but we're gonna put this pigeon inside of here. So let's check him out. Let's put him inside of here. He'll do nice and well in here. We have a nice little PVC pipe inside of here as a stand. So let me just uh, put that up for him. If he wants to jump up on there, he can. I think he has a broken wing, so we're gonna keep it nice and down low. He has some dirt and stuff, a couple little weeds. Uh, we gotta get him food and water, but uh, let's grab this guy, check him out, and see what he really actually looks like if he actually has a broken wing and all that stuff. So let's put him right here. All right, check this guy out. Oh yeah, he has a nice inflamed wing right there. Put him in there. And he actually looks like he is blind in one eye as well, unfortunately. He's a gorgeous little pigeon, but I'm sure he could heal up with no problem. I might get him a shot just to kill any infections or anything like that. But he definitely has an inflamed wing right there. But he'll do a lot better inside of here, out of the beach area with some nice fresh water. Not all that saltiness. You can tell those red, red, red feet and stuff. Um, so, let's get him some food and water. I'm going to put that branch down with this PVC pipe down just a little bit more. It's alright, little guy. Alright, little guy. Go right there, nice and low. He could jump right back on it. It's alright, big guy. It's alright. His wing's actually not broken, so that's a good thing. He'll be able to fly, but he is, it is infected. 
So uh, we'll check him out. Let's go get him some food and water. He definitely needs some of that. But he does have a blind eye, which sucks. You can see that one eye right there. You guys can see that. Can you guys see that? See that eye? That eye is definitely infected. But um, it's not infected. It's just a blind eye. It's like a cataract or something on it. But the other eye is actually really good. You see how dark that one is. Nice and perfect. So let's go and uh, get him some food and water. Where's my face at? All right, so we got some food and water. We're inside this. He has a nice protection from rain and everything. He gets some rain off the sides, but he's okay there. And um, yeah, get him food and water. He'll probably eat as soon as we offer it to him. He's a little nervous, but that's a normal thing. These guys could turn into a, a tame bird very, very quickly. And I think with just a little bit of L, uh, L tail C, he'll be ready to go. And he's gonna stay here on the ranch. But probably it's it's personally looking like it might be a male. But uh, we gotta wait until he gets a little healthier and he gets happy and then he'll start um, making some noises and stuff. But uh, yeah, again, go get food and water and let's set him up. Everybody else on the ranch is doing really well. Royal Palm turkeys are doing great. They look a little beat up, unfortunately, because of the guinea fowl. But we might be rehoming those guinea fowl because they're just not doing well with the turkeys and they're not purebreds. And I was told they were purebreds, but they weren't, so it kind of sucks. And so I might find them a home that doesn't really care. I really want a pure bed, vulture, guinea fowl. The African crown cranes are doing good. This is the female right there. Look how gorgeous she looks. She's a gorgeous girl. And the boy's right there. He's a little aggressive. Hey, be nice, big guy. But they're doing good. They should hopefully breed by next season. They're getting real nice and matured. He is not the nicest, but uh, let's go. Goats are all doing good. We have still one male buckling left. A uh, Nigerian dwarf goat off of this female right here. He's over here. So if you guys are interested, hit me in the DMs. South Florida sales only, you guys. Where's this guy at? Hey, buddy boy. Look at him. Gorgeous guy. Come here, big guy. Hey. Come here. Hello, buddy. Hello. All right, so I need some of your guys' help before we go get that food and water. All right, if you guys get this video for over 5,000 likes, right? I know you guys can do it. 5,000 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new here. That's a wasp. Get out of here, wasp. All right, he's gone. Um, like I was saying at the beginning of the video, we had a loft before for pigeons, but unfortunately we lost it in the fire. And I'm not putting any types of birds or anything next to that barn anymore, but we have this goat barn our livestock barn, all our birds, all our farm animals, all that stuff around here. So I'm really, really thinking. Get 5,000 likes. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so already. Because the ratio of subscribes and not subscribes is kind of odd. I mean, if you guys are watching the video, hit that subscribe button for me. If you guys like the videos, tell your friends and family about them. And subscribe to the channel. I would really, really appreciate it. We're trying to hit a million subscribers. We're just about there. So let's make it happen. But back on track. We have this pretty big empty spot of the barn. It's around 10 foot wide and it comes out to that pole to that pole to probably around six foot. So I'm thinking from that direction, so about six by 10 right there, thinking on making a loft for the pigeons, but I need your guys' help. Hit that like button, get 5,000 likes. We get 5,000 likes, that's really gonna make me get that push to uh, start this loft, to get it together and make something dope for our one pigeon. Hopefully he does all well, he gets survives and everything, and then he will join a group of pigeons that'll get. The pigeons I definitely would want to get are uh tumblers tumblers are personally my favorite pigeons they come in so many different colors and unique different colors and they don't go far they're not racers they don't need to you don't need to race them or anything like that just let them go they go high 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 into the sky until you can't see anymore and then they just freaking drop and they just flip and flip and flip sometimes they'll flip up to 10 times and then when they get tired they'll land on top of the barn go back into the loft they get scared by any predators they have a door so they can jump through the door and the hawks can't find them behind. They learn quickly. They're born here. It's so freaking cool. It'll be really, really cool to watch them grow and do all those things here. So let me know. 5,000 likes. Let's make it happen. I want the pigeons. You guys will really, really enjoy them as well. And I think it'll be really, really cool. But uh, we're heading back to the house right now to go get the food and water. I probably said that. How many times have I said that already in this video? Food and water. Put it down in the comments. Let's see about that. But there we go. I'm saying it again. Food and water. We're going to grab that. We're going to get two bowls and I'll see you guys back at the pigeon. All right, so I got a little bit of the food right here, and I got the water. It's a little bit mixed of chicken food, scratch, and a little bit of uh, safflower seeds. So let's head to the little pigeon. Put it down in the comments. What should we name this little dude? Hey, I'm not sure if it's a male or female yet, so make it like a name that could be both. 
But let's head down there and let's go give them the food. All right, so we're right here. Come here, little guy. Give him a little bit of water and show him the food. Let's see if he walks to it real quick. But we actually got a shot as well. And we're gonna give him a little bit of, oh look, there he goes, check it out. I know he was hungry. There. I know he was hungry. Guy hasn't had food for a couple days probably. He couldn't really get around, fly to where he wants to go. Right now he's actually going straight for the safflower. This is probably some of the best food he has had or has gotten for the last couple weeks. I'm sure he's probably been really searching for food and looking for God knows what out there in the beach. Probably eating sand, I don't even know. But uh, that wing is definitely a little bit inflamed, so I got a little needle right here, a little shot, and we are definitely going to get him something because he definitely needs it. So we're going to head him on this for the next three days, and it's just something that will just hit anything that he has, so any types of little infections and all that stuff. Probably put it right on his uh, leg so he's good. So um, let me just grab him real quick and give him a shot, and then we're just let him go, let him do his thing, let him eat, have some water. And he's definitely going to get a lot better with this shot. We could just let him do his own thing and let nature do its course by just giving him food and water. But to boost it and help it, we step in a little more, give him that antibiotics so that he will push better, get faster, and get better quicker. Oh, we give him a little shot right here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Check it out. Go your way. And he has a lot of lice too. A lot of lice. All right, so. I have to give him some more antibiotics or something else. He has like no meat on him either. All right. So we hit him with that first. But I'll tell you one thing, he definitely has a lot of like uh, sand lice or something on him. I just noticed that as well. He has a bunch of that on him. So we'll probably as well get a little bit of seven dust and put that around for him on top of him and inside of there. My mom's recording right now and her, as soon as she heard lice, she started backing up. I could tell him just in the video. <laughs> but he is all right. He'll be due. He, that the lice won't kill him. That infection will kill him faster than the lice, if anything. It's not like heavily, heavily filled with lice, but there, it's definitely lice in there. So um, we'll get those, we'll deal with that afterwards. But hopefully he survives for the next week. If he does that, we are good, plus one. The goats are all eating the box. That's what they like to do. This is the boy I was telling you guys about. This is the buckling right here. That's the mother. It's off Captain and Oreo. So make sure you guys, if you guys are interested in him, he is ready to go. Um, South Florida sales only. Again, make sure you guys know your laws for your uh, city and all that stuff because I don't want you to buy the goat and then be like, huh can't keep it anymore no that you're gonna keep this pet you're gonna have this pet you're gonna have it for the rest of your life so you got to make sure you know your laws you know your city limits all your stuff before you hit me up about a goat once you know all about that hit me up other than that hopefully this pigeon does good put it down in the comments what we should name this this little guy again i don't know if it's male or female as of right now he's a little weird looking so once he gets better he'll be better we got to give him a couple more shots in the next couple days and on top of that 5,000 likes you guys yeah, I'm sorry about that. The battery just died. But do everything that I said before that, you guys. I appreciate every single one of you guys. It means a lot. And I will see you guys later. Peace out, everyone. On to the next video. We go.